is going on everybody my name is pete and you guys are watching pay to drive and pay to drive vlogs coming at you once again with another brand new video hope you're all doing fantastic out there ladies and gentlemen if you drive for apps like grubhub doordash uber eats or any of the others you're in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy so get started right now for free hit that red subscribe button down below turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever i post something new and if you wouldn't mind it don't forget to hit that like button down below just so uh you know youtube knows i'm doing a good job and leave a comment saying liked l-i-k-e-d just so i know you did it and let's jump into this going over more of your feedback from um you know previous videos that i've posted and uh, like I said, a lot of times, you know, you guys put some really great stuff in the comments section and not enough people get to hear it or see it. So I definitely want to amplify your message. Um, this was in the one re in regards to like how DoorDash can't keep over promising and under delivering when they advertise themselves to new drivers, to new dashers saying you could make $25 an hour on average and blah, 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 and things like that. There was an article written about it blasting DoorDash for doing this. And this is what a bunch of you guys had to say. Uh, by the way, there's a few comments about the song Turn the Page by Bob Seger and covered by Metallica because I, I mentioned something that I couldn't turn the page uh, on that article in that video. So uh, Sheila Melton says, Bob Seger originally did turn the page. Metallica did the cover. And she says, uh, I make on average about $15 an hour, sometimes better, sometimes worse. DoorDash is crazy for saying $25 on average. That's without expenses being taken out. After expenses, I'd be lucky to be averaging $10 an hour. This is a unbelievably good comment because it is 100% true, okay? Um, the fact of the matter is this. When they're saying $25 an hour, they're not figuring for taxes. They're figuring $25 gross, okay? You have to pay self-employment tax and all this other BS. You know, it's usually like, 33% or something like that there other I have a family accountant that handles my taxes during tax time so I don't know the exact details uh, because I don't want to screw myself up with the IRS that is absolutely something you do not want to do you do not want to get audited um, but with that being said uh, yeah, it, like when it comes to taxes that have to be taken out, gas uh, issues, you know what I mean? Like how the gas prices have been going up, uh, you know, just maintenance on your vehicle and et cetera. You know, even if you have to stop for lunch or something, you know, that all comes out of what you are taking in. Um, Judy Zieno says, I average 13 to 40, uh, 13 to 40, 13 to 14 dollars an hour because of the wait times. That's another big issue as well. They're not figuring for that, that when restaurants are, are understaffed or even when they're fully staffed and they're taking too long, you know, that could screw you up as well. Uh, Damon Wolf says, living in a tourist-based local economy, my earnings have been pathetic since the onset of the pandemic. Uh, weekdays, I usually make less than minimum wage, while weekends, I usually make about 12 to 15 per hour on Grubhub. And I'm talking about during peak dinner uh, rush hours, and that is before my taxes and vehicle expenses, just like I was saying. Yet every single day on Facebook, I'm bombarded with ads claiming wages of $22 per hour or more. In a reality, making 22 an hour uh, would be a total fluke that might happen once every 365 days. The use of those two little words up to can definitely lead to some technically true, but obviously very deliberately misleading claims. That is a huge, huge thing, and I'm glad Damon mentioned it. Whenever something says make up to whatever, that doesn't mean you're guaranteed to make that $25 per hour. So if, if it's like make up to 25 an hour, yeah, well, that's like the high point. But most people are making like half of that or, you know, two thirds of that or something like that, you know? Roger Eddington said, I started DoorDash on April 26, 2021. I have kept meticulous records and have found that DoorDash is misleading prospective drivers. I have 479 deliveries. My active time dollar average is 12.63 per hour. My dash time average is 7.46 per hour. My average dollars per delivery is 4.83 per delivery. I have made $4,664.64 since I started. It hardly seems worth it anymore. With all the hassles DoorDash is giving drivers, it keeps getting worse and worse each week. I am in the South Bend, Indiana market. Roger, very well said, man. 
I mean, you could hear, you could literally see that he, he's got it down to the scent. And Laura, uh, Laura Lee, 1776 says, I average $18 an hour in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and they need to make the pay, that, the pay transparent up front. I couldn't, I couldn't agree with you more, honestly. So dashers, drivers, let me know your thoughts down below in the chat or the comment section, how you feel about this particular situation, about how uh, DoorDash is just misleading with the, you know, what they promise. They're over-promising and under-delivering to, to prospective new drivers. That's just what it comes down to. If you guys ever have anything you would like to share with me uh, for an upcoming video, a story, a topic, an article, a question, a comment, whatever, send it over to me, paid to drive stories at gmail.com. It's the best way to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. Anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I will give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels, John Birchfield, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty. Uh, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hyam, Brian Richardson, Kenny Best, Jenny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys out there. Really, really appreciate all of you. And uh, yeah, anyone who signs up, you'll get shout outs. And, uh, you know, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it can be you. Let's find out. And of course, I hope every single one of you guys out there is uh, saving lots of money with the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free app for your smartphone and you can find that link in the descriptions of all my videos just scroll down the page click on the link that says get the free gas app and then uh, it'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone tablet or device you have and then from that point what you do is you go to your gas station pump your gas print out your receipt take a picture of your receipt with the get upside gas app and within 48 hours or so you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back which is pretty fantastic and if a friend or family member signs up using your code you'll get paid every time they pump gas it's called get upside the links in the description down below make sure to check it out today and of course for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, paidtodrivestore.com is the place for you. This is one of the brand new designs. Definitely go check it out. Links in the description of the pin top comment. We've got lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale at paidtodrivestore.com for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. Links in the description down below. And of course, everybody. Uh, if you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment saying end 232, END 232 just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And uh, yeah, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.